What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here. Now on this channel, we've covered many different AI coding tools. We've covered open source tools. We've covered closed source tools. We've covered Klein. We covered CoFounder, V0, Cursor, Windsurf. You name it, we've covered many different ones. Now, one tool we haven't talked about is a tool called Pythagora. Now, this tool's been around for a while, and it's even been around for a lot longer in a different version of the tool called GPT Pilot. In fact, this repo has 32,000 stars on GitHub, and it's a Python coding assistant. But we are not going to be talking about this open source project today. We are going to be talking about the Pythagora extension and their closed source version. Now, all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. So if you want to learn more about Pythagora and get a background on this tool, I would suggest checking out their website, maybe watching this video, as well as checking out some of these examples, as well as they have a lot of really good tutorials and videos on their YouTube channel, which I'll leave linked down below as well. Now, for the last couple months, Pythagora has been only available for beta users and they haven't rolled it out to everyone, but today, I got access to Pythagora as well as most of you if you were on the waiting list now should be able to access Pythagora and even if you weren't I believe you can just sign up right now and give it a try for yourself. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how you can build an end-to-end -end application with Pythagora, how to actually use this and how you can get started with it in the next few minutes. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so here you see we have access to Pythagora now. So here's what we can expect end to end full stack development, deep code base understanding, automated debugging, unlimited flexibility, AI power collaboration. And to get started, we've added 1 million free tokens to your account. So that's awesome. And you can download the extension for the full experience and then watch this video for an overview of Pythagora version 1.2. So I would definitely recommend watching this 17 minute crash course on Pythagora. I watched it from the start to finish and it is very good. Gives you a lot of different ideas on how you can actually use this tool. And I'm really excited to use this tool after watching that video and just after waiting on the wait list for the last couple months for this tool because it's really awesome, at least from what I've seen. And the way to get started is you simply just go to this link right here, which is the Visual Studio Code extension. And you're just going to go ahead and click install. You can also, of course, open up your Visual Studio code and just go into your extensions and install it from there. Now, once you install it, of course, you'll see that we have this Pythagora chat right here. And this is just really the standard uh, chat GPT chat where you can chat here. But the real beauty of Pythagora is this right panel over here. So experience the future of software development, emerge into the new era of software development with our artificial intelligence. So you can load app, check out their help center, or create a new app. We're going to create a new app here. Okay, so development command output, we got an error. So that's weird. We can look at the logs here. And just so you guys know, if you go to settings here, you'll see your plan. So I'm, right now I'm using Pythagora Pro. I'm on the prepaid plan and I have $10 of credits. And you can easily just top up right here if you want. Now, also here in advanced settings, you'll see different things like sound notification, allow command runs, show tips, auto start browser. So auto start Chrome for web browser testing, default stream folding, automatically fold all LLM responses streams with a placeholder message, and then use get. Okay, so also too, when you first open Pythagora, it's going to ask, how do you want to use Pythagora in locally or cloud? So I'm going to go ahead and click locally. Now I'm going to create new app. All right, so I was encountering an issue. Basically, you're just going to need to select your GPT pilot path. All right, or at least for me. Uh, and then it's going to then install Pythagora core, download GPT zip repository, unzip that, set up Python environment, running this command right here for a virtual environment, and then it should be good. Now, if we go back to the settings here, we can see our GPT pilot path. All right, and I just clicked change and now it is collecting all these different things, um, downloading different things and setting everything up. Now you can see that it is finished creating the config.json. Okay, so now that we have Pythagora set up, GPT pilot path, now I'm going to create the app and it should work now. 
Okay, so it's asking us, how do you want to build your app? So at the moment, we just really have Node.js and others says coming soon. So I'm just going to do Node.js. So it's going to say, let's choose a project name. So what's our project name? Just for simplicity sake of this video, we'll just call this Stride CRM. Okay, so if you don't know, we're going to just build a CRM app. Now we're installing the project dependencies. And I'm going to go ahead and move my head over here to the left side so you guys can see this Pythagora in full effect. Okay, so we highly recommend you watching the 15 minute crash course right here. Front end agent is asking us, please describe how we want to build our app. So please describe the app you want to build. Here's some example prompts. So we could see some here like admin app, prompt engineering app, lens app. I'm curious to see like if i click kpi dashboard we can see that this is a pretty advanced prompt like it's pretty long all right so it has all the different um you know elements that we want in this dashboard app there's also a how to prompt button right here so um definitely you know and anytime when it comes to ai coding i've said this many times on this channel it really comes down to your prompt that's how you're going to make good apps okay so i actually went ahead and just ask ChatGPT to come up with a prompt so i'm just going to try to use this prompt i don't know how well it's going to work we may have to change it around but let's go ahead and try this all right so i'm not going to read the whole thing here but you can see it's pretty in-depth want to create a simple but functional crm application entirely in node.js the goal is to have a self-hostable open source solution using postgres for data storage the front end should include uh, and be included in the same Node.js code base using either a template engine like EJS or Handlebars or basic client side approach. Go over our tech stack, all right. The user authentication and authorization, the UI, the different da data tables, and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and click send. Do we need authentication in your app? Login, register, etc. I'll just go ahead and click yes. But of course, you wouldn't need to if you're just, you know, testing this out. So now the front end agent is setting up the project. All right, so of course this is a big project and Pythagora is essentially supposed to do end to end development for us, kind of like a team, kind of like something that you would see in, in something like Devin. Um, so this is gonna take a little bit of time. So yeah, so just grab some coffee, take a drink and just relax as Pythagora goes to work. So it currently says building the front end. This may take a couple minutes, running commands, CD client and NPM install. Hero icons, Lucid React, Zod, hook form, resolvers. Okay, added these packages. Files changed. We can see right here contacts.ts for the API, components sidebar, components layout. We can see the diffs right here. You could open this as well. Now it's continuing to build the UI. This may take a couple minutes as well. Okay, and boom, we see we have do you want to change anything or report a bug? Keep in mind that currently only front end is implemented so now it automatically opened up google chrome right here and we're going to see if this app is working so it's booting up right here on localhost 5173 okay and we are getting a big error right here so i'm just going to okay so a few cool things is we can see the back end logs right here and we can also see the front end logs um so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here paste this into here and click send but we can see it also detected the errors automatically actually so i could have just clicked debug now it's implementing the changes you suggested the errors indicate a problem with jsx closing tags and app.tsx let's fix this properly nesting the components and then boom all right so now we have the app open here and we can see we have authentication welcome back enter your credentials to continue and enter we could actually sign up right here so Josh at Gmail, we're creating an account here and we just logged in and boom, here is our CRM currently. So we have a dashboard, some contacts right here. So the contacts page isn't working. See the settings page doesn't seem to be working either. We have dark mode that is working. We can see contacts right here, leads, prospects, customers with dummy data. Of course, we could log out right here. Now it is showing here errors detected. Uh, let's see if I click debug. Okay, so now no errors are detected. So do you want to change anything or report a bug? Um, keep in mind that currently only front end is implemented. So now I can say, 
All right, so now I'm going to say contacts page and settings page are not working. There should also be an opportunities page with a drag and drop pipeline interface. Now I'm going to go ahead and click send. Okay, so implemented the changes. So now it did these changes. Let's add necessary dependencies right here. Let's create API mockup for opportunities right here. And now the opportunities page. So it says error detected right here. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Now we can see we have an uh, pipeline page. So if I click here for opportunities, okay, now the opportunities page is working here. We can add an opportunity here. We can drag our opportunities over from like, you know, the sales process, discovery, proposal, negotiation, closing, etc. Go to contacts right here. Okay, now it is updating the sidebar to include the opportunities link, which it did. Okay, so settings is working right now. Still getting an issue with the contacts page. And it's showing error detected, so I'm just going to debug this. When you click this, it's saying I got an error here, and then it's showing the backend logs. I'm also going to say contacts page isn't working, and then click send. Okay, now our contacts page is working. As you can see, we can go ahead, add a contact. All right, create contact. Successfully created. It's not showing up here. Of course, we could tell it to fix that. So now all the pages are working somewhat, you know, okay. Obviously, if you were actually building this out, you would spend a bit more time, get the functionality really, really good before you actually go ahead and build the back end side of things. Now, one thing too, if you go over here to knowledge base, you will see that there is implemented pages. So you can see the implemented pages right here. You could select different ones like the login page, the dashboard page, the settings page, register, contacts, etc. You click right here to go to the specific code in your app. And you can also see the API endpoint. So if you go here, you'll see these ones are mocked right now. So we have the API endpoints for our login, register, log out, contacts right here. So we have get ones, post ones, put, delete. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Get, put, etc. We can click here to see those different API endpoints. Now, once you're done building the UI, the front end UI, you would simply just click, I'm done building the UI. Now it's going to ask you, are you sure done, you're done building the UI and you want to start building the backend functionality now? And honestly, I, like I said, I would spend a lot more time on the front end, make sure it's really good before you start the back end. But then if you're done, then you could go ahead and say, yes, let's build the back end. Now also too here, you'll see logs right here. So you can see all your logs of the back end, the front end right here. And you can see your deployment. So want to deploy your project, click the deploy button to get started. And you can actually go ahead and start your deployment. All right, so it's also gonna go ahead and create a development plan with all the different epics. So you can see here, epic one, implement authentication system by implementing user model, removing mocked data in front end and connecting to back end API endpoints for login and registration, creating tasks for this epic. Epic 2, create a script and seed the database with initial data, including an admin user and sample contacts and opportunities, creating tasks for this epic. Epic 3, implement CRUD operations for contacts, including listing, creating, updating, and deleting contacts, as well as fetching data dashboard statistics. Epic 3, implement CRUD operations for opportunities, including listing opportunities and updating opportunity status. Now, one thing I also want to know is that it does give pretty good descriptions right here in the code that it writes. So we can see description, login user functionality, endpoint, post right here, request, email string, password string, response, access token string, refresh token string. Now you'll see that we can actually go ahead and open and edit our plan in the progress tab. So if we go to progress, we can see our different epics right here. We can click on them and see the individual tasks. So for the first epic, remove mock data from front end, 
auth.ts, implement real API request for login and registration endpoints. And you can see all the different other ones. You click here to add tasks. You could edit the epic right here or delete an epic or add a new epic yourself. Then once you're done editing the development plan, you can say, I'm done editing. The plan looks good and it's going to start executing on that plan. So you can see here starting task one, remove mock data and let's implement real API endpoints. Now, do you want to execute the task above? So you can either edit task, skip task, or say yes. So analysis of current implementation, backend already has boom, 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 boom. Front end has boom, 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 boom. The main task is to remove the mock data and do this. So it's basically doing all that for us right here. Are you happy with the breakdown? Now is a good time to ask a question or suggest changes. I'm just going to say yes looks good since this is really our test example here. All right, and now what it's doing is it's giving us an actual human test. So it says open registration page. And so open your page right here, giving this exact link, expected results right here. And it's giving us a step two, submit registration form, open login page, submit login form, verify local storage. Now I'm going to stop here, but you would want to go through, do these human tests individually. And then you can say right here, uh, everything works, make a change. There is an issue. And then just keep iterating through the process. Pythagora lays out a really cool structure to actually build apps from end to end, front end, back end, and deploy. And I really think this type of framework is the future of AI coding. You know, we have these great tools like Cursor, Windsurf, um, but you still got to know kind of the steps and the order and sequence that you should go through the development process. I think Pythagora it does a really good job with structuring that. So even if you don't know necessarily when to stop the front end development and focus on integrating the back end or do different things like this, Pythagora is a really good solution for that. Now, this is still a new tool. They still have limited frameworks, at least out of the box. I think it's really cool and I'm excited to see where they take this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about Pythagora if you used it. And if you haven't, go try it out now and let me know what your thoughts are after you use it. Let me know down below too. Did I miss anything? Like I said, this is my first time using it. So I definitely could have missed something important. So if I did, make sure to let me know as well as everyone else know in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI coding, marketing, sales business grow so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads also too guys if you're new to this channel and you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord channel check it out at stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below it's 100 for free and then also too guys if you haven't already joined our stride ai academy you're definitely going to want to join this out it's going to be jam-packed with so much value courses training templates tools resources etc but check that out right now while it still is free it may not be in the future and then also too guys if you run a business and if you need help with your marketing your sales your systems or implementing ai agents like ai call center ai appointment setters into your business to streamline your appointment booking process and get a bunch of hot qualified leads book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care